Hi everybody, this is The Shot Clock, and Greg, we're in the middle of baseball awards season, so let's start the clock and talk about the National League MVP race. Three finalists were announced, it's Paul Goldschmidt of the Diamondbacks, Giancarlo Stanton of the Marlins, and Joey Votto of the Reds. Uh, the voting has already taken place and it did not take the uh, playoffs into consideration, it was right. just a regular season. So it really to me boils down to Stanton and Goldschmidt, and Goldschmidt's been the bridesmaid before in this race. Uh, I think Stanton's going to win. I don't have any inside knowledge. I didn't poll the voters or anything. But I think that this is largely a numbers-driven vote usually, and Stanton has better numbers pretty much across the board, not by a ton, but a little bit. RBIs, home runs, OPS, slugging percentage, things like that. The 59 home runs is a big shiny prize out there that voters like to look at. And um, I think that Stanton will, will get the MVP award but I know you differ with me. Yeah, because I value winning, right? If you take Stanton off of Miami, Miami's still a losing team. They were a losing team with him, they're gonna be a losing team without him. You take Paul Goldschmidt, this is something Tori Lovello told me last night, I had a chance to talk to him after he won Manager of the Year. He said, you take away Paul Goldschmidt from us, I guarantee you we don't win 93 games. You don't win 93 games, you're not in the playoffs. And to me, that's the value in valuable player. Well, speaking of value, it's pretty ironic that both of these players could be affected by their contract status. Uh, the Marlins have hinted uh, that Stanton may have to go strictly from dollars and they have to try to move him. And what do you do if you're the Diamondbacks and you've got to look at a Goldschmidt contract coming up here in a little bit and at the same time you're trying to keep J.D. Martinez potentially at over $200 million for seven years. You've got to love what J.D. Martinez brought to the team last season, but for me, you've got to stick it with Goldschmidt. It's so rare that a guy plays his whole career with one team. The Diamondbacks haven't had a guy play his whole career then go to the Hall of Fame. Goldschmidt's in position to do that. There's value to that, and I just I wouldn't overlook that if I were in charge over there. Looking forward to see what the vote totals end up being, but for now we're out of time on the shot clock. Have a great day.